What's up fellows? Welcome to the second episode of Xtool 101. This is Captain Laser from Xtool. In this lesson, you are going to learn new things about Xtool M1. In the first lesson, we learned about the basic knowledge to start making a simple project. We have learned about the basics about Xtool Creative Space, which is the essential software for design and process with M1. Then, we went through the steps to connect your M1 machine to a computer through Wi-Fi and USB. Furthermore, we have learned the differences between M1 modes. We have also learned about how to auto-measure the thickness of a material and adjust the material placement for a better outcome. At last, we process the project with recommended settings. In this lesson, you will get to know about text tools and how to use them. Then you will learn about the three fundamental processing methods, engrave, score, and cut. We will use these knowledge to make a welcome door plate. To help you quickly jump to the specific tutorial sections, the timestamp is below in the progress bar. Now let's jump in and get started. Let's start the lesson with a quick introduction of what we need today. First you'll need a piece of 3mm walnut plywood, which you can find in the material package that comes with the X2 M1 machine. And then, you'll need a computer to install the X2 Creative Space software. And of course, you'll need an Xtool M1 machine. Before we start the project, we need to open Xtool Creative Space software and turn on the M1 machine. Then connect Xtool Creative Space to M1 through Wi-Fi or USB. We have learned that in the previous lesson. Now let's open the lid and put the 3mm walnut plywood on M1 base plate. To get a precise measuring result, you should place the material on the center of the base plate. It's one of the X tool selected materials, so you can find it in the material list on the right panel. Select 3mm walnut plywood and then click auto measure, so the machine can adjust the laser module automatically based on the thickness of the material. After that, open the lid again, and put the material on the upper center of the base plate. Putting the material on the upper center of the base plate can best avoid lens distortion. Next. Import the image you're going to put on the door plate into XCS, and then adjust its position. For Xtool official materials, we can use the Xtool selected reference settings to process. After the image is all set, let's move on to the next step. Go to the left toolbar, you can find text function. Click the icon, then click on canvas, a word hello will show on canvas. Click hello on canvas. A panel will show up on the right of Xtool Creative Space interface. You can adjust text size, spacing, leading, choose the typeface and so on. The typeface list shows the typefaces that are already in your computer system. If you want to use a new typeface, you need to install it to the computer system first. After you successfully installed the typeface, please restart Xtool Creative Space first. And then you should see the new typeface display in the list. Using these text settings, you can personalize the text effect. After all the settings of text are properly adjusted, we need to select a processing method for it. Click the text on canvas, you will see three options on the right panel, score, engrave, and cut. Each has a different outcome. If you score an element, only the outline of it will be processed. As you can see, the inner part of this element is still unfilled. If you engrave an element, the inner part of the element will be processed. And here's an important tip that you need to know. A bitmap image can only be engraved because its outline cannot be detected by the software. So you can only see the engrave button in here. However, there's a way to cut out the outline of a bitmap image, and we will guide you how to do that in the later lessons. And if you cut an element, it will be cut out from the material through the outline of it. In this lesson, we're going to engrave all the elements on canvas. The material we use is from Xtool official store. We can directly use the Xtool selected reference for the processing parameter setting. Now we're ready to process. Click, process, to start. After all the above works are done, let's press the button on the front side of M1. Now just wait for it to be finished. Let's see the perfect work. How nice of it. Let's put the door plate on the front door. 
That's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoy learning and making project with me. Share your project on Xtool community now. Please comment down below and tell Captain Laser how do you feel about this lesson, and what do you want to learn. I'll see you fellows next lesson.